So the content creator Soggy Serio talked about Dogpack 404's videos and claims and accusations made against Mr. Beast, and it was a really great video, right? I'm not going to deny the fact that he did a lot of research. I'm not going to deny the fact that I got a lot of information wrong and I supported spreading a lot of misinformation that I just didn't really look too deep into. But he did the work, he did the investigative journalism, and he looked into a lot of things. Even having interviews with Mr. Beast employees who are actively working still with Mr. Beast. And ultimately the video just comes down to a lot of the information just being either fabricated, exaggerated, Mis misinformed entirely to make his standpoint seem more sound or just bullshit that just doesn't really matter and that's ultimately just the conclusion that i've kind of come to with this overall situation not to dismiss certain things like the whole like delaware thing that happened and was revealed it was a thing that happened and yes it is true that delaware is an rso and that people knew about it but when Mr. Beast initially hired him in the beginning, he didn't actually know that because he was naive and didn't do the research that you should have. And that is wrong and you should criticize him for that. But it was an honest mistake that he didn't that he didn't know about. And the stuff with Ava Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson, yes, that is true. None of that is fabricated. There's a lot of things that support Ava Tyson being a being an absolute fucking degenerate. And there's just not really much else to say about that. A lot of it, Jake Wells experience during the interview that he did with Dogpack. A lot of that shouldn't be invalidated because a lot of his experience was definitely like bad, right? But he just wasn't the type of person to really handle that mentally. And there's a lot of information that supports that. He just wasn't the right person to support that. And you can say that Mr. Beast and his team have learned a lot from that. And the only lottery scam that was that was definitely 100% a scam was the first claim that was made, and that was and that's it. Like like all the other claims. Like, they're fabricated, they're exaggerated, they leave out details. That's pretty much it. And I don't really want to say anything else other than that because I suggest you go and check out Soggy Serious' video because he goes into a lot of work, he goes into a lot of detail, and he'll do a much better job explaining it than I can. And the only thing that I really want to say about this whole thing is just the fact that I'm just... I'm sick and tired of talking about the Mr. Beast drama because I think it's at a point where I think... Mr. Beast just kind of doesn't really want to talk about it, or he's just allowing things to happen behind the scenes to happen, and et cetera, et cetera. And then you have content creators, Do Dogback44 especially, and even now mostly Rosanna Pincino was talking about the Mr. Beast games. They're sharing information that just ultimately doesn't matter. Like the whole like CP thing that happened with Ivanka Trump and the fact that it wasn't that at all. And they kept showing it in the video, they kept showing it in the thumbnail, and then Dogpack did the whole reverse, uh, reverse image search thing and just... There's a lot of things that just keep coming up that are very inconsistent with the evidence that Dogback keeps sharing. And ultimately, I just... I can't be asked to talk about something that I just don't want to talk about anymore because the more the information comes out, whether or not it supports Mr. Beast or it's against Mr. Beast, I simply just don't want to talk about it. Just because every single time I see new information, I immediately am just like so exhausted and I don't want to make the video, but then I end up making it because I know it's going to do well. But recently I've been uploading some different type of videos on some different type of topics and they've been doing okay. Granted, they're not doing as specifically good as my most recent video on Mr. Beast, which got over 2000 views which was which for my size and my channel and my growth I think like I think that was really good but was I happy making the video no like I didn't really care like a video that I wasn't expecting to do as well but ended up doing even better was the video that I talked about with in regards to the gaming industry and games journalism and I was actually very passionate about that video and that topic specifically because I think there's a lot of problems that are currently going on within the gaming industry and within the gaming community and the game and the games journalism scene and that the video ended up doing way better. It has a huge like to dislike ratio that's heavily in my favor. There's a lot of comments engaging with the video and talking about certain stuff that I even neglected to think about and even talk about within the video. And it was great and it was a fun time making the video and having this discussion that I think is super important. But then new Mr. Beast drama comes out and then all of a sudden they have to suddenly talk about it and then give my opinion about that. And it's just there's nothing really to say about Mr. Beast other than what I'm going to say now. And I think it's that... Mr. Beast is definitely a very naive person who has making a lot of mistakes. And his most recent mistakes, which was recently investigated by CoffeeZilla, was in regards to his crypto schemes and whether or not some of them are fake and whether or not some of them are not. There's definitely one that definitely seems like it could potentially be a scam and was done intentionally so, but maybe not specifically my Mr. Beast, but more so the people that are working directly for him. Who knows if that's actually the case. It would be great if we actually got a word from Mr. Beast and that's honestly the thing that's been bothering me the most is the fact that 
It took months for someone to actually do the investigative work to actually look into all this information being provided by Dogback44 and go through the details, go through the work, go through the evidence and support whether or not <laughs> whether or not it's actually like valid or not. And it wasn't even Mr. Beast who did that. It wasn't a Mr. Beast video. It wasn't Mr. Beast himself talking about it. It was an entirely other person, an entirely different creator who was defending Mr. Beast. And, you know, credit to him, it's not favorable to, to defend Mr. Beast right now. It's actually more favorable to talk so much shit about him right now because people really don't like him. But he went against the curb and he did the thing that he thought was morally correct. And it was to factually look at evidence and then support him yeah that's something that i didn't really do especially in regards just to this one specific thing that really irritated me just because i like anime a lot and i make a lot of anime references on my channel and, and it was in regards to like this uh pdf file anime that mr beast had recommended to ava tyson it was called the Ige hero and i didn't look into it and it really bothers me that i didn't do that because from the sound of things it actually sounds like a show that I would actually really enjoy and basically it's just the comic series the manga series and then the subsequent anime series is it's a show that's about this guy who takes in this high school girl who ran away from home and is selling her body basically but there's no romance between the adult man and the high schooler uh, there's no romance at all in regards to between the two of them what their relationship ends up becoming more so like a father and daughter relationship because he ends up feeling bad for her and her situation and the more that he learns about her the closer that the two end up becoming to one another and it sounds like an actual like very sweet story that sounds like it would actually be a very good time and for some reason i just didn't bother to look into it because i was following along the hype train of just following any information that can make mr b seem bad and you know that that's my fault i genuinely fucked up there and i shouldn't have i should have I should have looked into this especially because it's in regards to anime and I do like anime and you know and I should have looked into that's actually what the story was about I should have looked for context on my end I should have on my end looked for more context as to what the story was about and I didn't do that and I didn't do that especially with a lot of other details which is why I'm glad that Sagi Serial ended up doing a lot of that on his end and made a whole video talking about it like intentionally hiring an RSO the lottery schemes and whether they're illegal or not uh another content creator being scammed even though he was like a random subscriber and mr beast did pay him uh faking videos faking cgi cp related stuff a bunch of stuff a bunch of stuff he goes over uh just watch the video for yourself it's a really long video it's about almost an, an hour and a half long but it's very important that you watch it and get a lot more context as to about what the hell's going on going on and you can form your own conclusions from there basically and I, and I think it's fair that if you want to watch videos that criticize mr beast there are definitely still things that you need to criticize mr beast for which soggy even does at the very end of his video but at the same time i think it's also fair when someone brings up evidence and points uh against dog park 404's claims and you can decide from there which one you want to believe and which one you don't want to believe. I think it's fair to get both sides of the story before you come to an ultimate conclusion. Which is what I was ultimately trying to wait for the entire fucking time when I was reporting all the evidence regarding around Mr. Beast with my previous videos and what Dogpack was talking about. But unfortunately, Mr. Beast just wasn't actually saying anything and that sucks. I really wish that Mr. Beast said something sooner. I wish that he talked about this sooner. It, it would have helped out a lot to stop the spread of misinformation being thrown around everywhere especially on twitter which there seems to always be misinformation spread being spread around but whatever i made my own mistakes and i owned i i own up to that and i apologize uh i think soggy did a very good job go check out his video please 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 go check out his video it's it's very good go watch it uh, if you have time of course but i if you're even slightly interested in so what's going on between Mr. Beast and this whole saga of him and this drama BS just I highly suggest that you do so so anyways that's pretty much it I don't want to show any images you're probably not seeing a whole lot of images from the video or anything because like I said you should just watch the video for yourself and come to your own conclusions instead of just basing your opinions off of what I think right make your own opinions and let me know what your opinions are about the situation down in the comments I would really like to hear what you have to say I would like to know what your opinions are, and I would like to have a discussion like civilized adults. Let's be civil about this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I thought it was important that I get my word out about this. Just 
about how I'm feeling about the Mr. Beast drama because I'm so tired of it. I'm so done talking about it. I just want it to be over. And that's all I really care about. I just want the saga of the Mr. Beast controversy to be over. And hopefully it will be very soon. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Please consider joining the channel memberships. I would give a shout out to Pedro360 for being a member. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.